Hello? Hello? Look at that. When I saw that light as a kid, that, that light alone was mind blowing. Because 20 of years the, ago? Yeah. 20, oh. Did you know Luigi's Mansion is 20 years old? It's 20 years old. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another series here on Stephen Plays. This time, it's Luigi's Mansion. Uh, it's the right time of year for it, so we're jumping into it. Mallory has never played it. I had this game um, at launch. I mean, I, I the the GameCube came out in the U.S. Uh, in November, and I got it that Christmas. And one of the games I had was Luigi's Mansion. I've beaten Luigi's Mansion before, 100%, but it's been at least a decade, so it's not going to be super, super fresh to me, but it's going to be real fresh to you. Yeah. So we're going to take turns playing each episode. Um, Mal's going to be starting us off, and we're just going to see what happens. I remember really, really loving this game. I think the game, I think a good word for this is charming. I think it's a charming game, and it was such a very different feel for uh, their new system because all of their, you know, all of the systems always came out with a Mario game. So for the GameCube to launch with a Luigi game at the time was a big deal. And it's something that's obviously so different. And it would be a while before we would get Mario Sunshine. So yeah, I've got a lot of good memories with this. All right, Mal, why don't you go ahead and press, uh, press start? Choose file one. No, I want three. Well, that was my test file to make sure everything was working. Look, it's your mansion. I wish I just got a mansion like that. Well, if your name was Luigi... I'll work on that. <laughs> you'll, you'll work on legally changing your name? Again. At what point would you turn around? Like... Like, if you had your little map and it showed the mansion and then you came up to this, like, at what point would you be like, this is a Scooby-Doo ghost house. There's no way I'm walking inside. There's a skull on the door. Hello? Luigi, also a great ventriloquist, able to speak mm. while, while grimacing. Welcome to the foyer of your mansion. <laughs> Neil Gaiman has a house near where I went to college. Neil Gaiman is a Luigi. And I hear his house is like very Mario. spooky looking. Mario. So um, you press X to Jason. I mean, I'm sorry, you press A to Mario. Mario. You found your flashlight button. Hmm. And you're just kind of you're just kind of chilling. The C stick controls um, the actual movement of your flashlight. So if you want to look and inspect different things. Ooh, Mr. Luigi just double checking that Mario isn't inside that expensive looking vase. Key. This is where you would leave. Key floating. I don't know. I don't know that I would have got this far. Even if I would have walked in and I would have saw, like, a pulsing light with vines on a door, I think that would have been like, this is above my pay grade. I need an exterminator or an exorcist or both. And that's if I would have gotten into the door. And I'm not sure. Oh, that hurts. It hurts. <sighs> flashing flashing vines of pain. Sounds like a They Might Be Giants song title. Can you imagine how sweaty his hands must be? In the gloves? In the gloves. Hmm. What if they're like wool and they wick oh. away moisture? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trademark said, Steven, it's just a fixer-upper. I don't know if it was advertised as such, but yeah, it's a, a bit of a fixer-upper. I think this will be fun for you because at this point, 20 years on, uh, Luigi's Mansion is very much kind of signified like what Luigi as a character is. Like yeah. uh, a lot of his moveset for Smash and also how Luigi is portrayed in other video games. And now you'll kind of get to see where that originated. Oof. 
I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young feller like you doing around here, anywho? This is my Airbnb. <laughs> also, I love the idea that, like, this guy is, like, investigating this house and doesn't even know that Luigi won it. So there's ghosts in a house. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm, where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy, co cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab... The lab... If you're a... <laughs> if you're of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So, you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. Can we just pause like that? Just say that, that statement. Anyway, I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled. A guy with a... A red hat! <laughs> kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even... Uh, stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? Mm. What? No, what, what, what? Sorry, what was that? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can deal with ghosts. Rescue your brother, Luigi. Your brother, Luigi. Your brother, Luigi. Oh, wait, you're not. You're Luigi. <laughs> Which one's Luigi? Uh, you can just keep this standard. The other one is harder. But basically, you press A to Mario or to, like, examine stuff. Um, the sticks change your directions. Flashlights B. Uh, the R button uh, is your vacuum, and this is actually where the GameCube controller shines because it has analog triggers, something that is missing from the Switch. Uh, and analog triggers allow you to dictate how much you suck. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Uh, Search with the Game Boy Horror? Yeah. Th yeah. That'll make that'll make more sense soon. Okay. Don't, don't worry so much about that. Suku, <laughs> suku. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Leather rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Did Emil name this? <laughs> yes, he won a contest. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness, and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam, all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuum in time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Now, just give the try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. So what you'll want to do is to... As soon as you see a ghost heart, remember that's your chance to vacuum him up. While vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring him in. When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction opposite the ghost. You have the right idea, you're split second too late. That's late? You have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. So here's what, I, here's what I'll, I'll suggest. Hold B to turn your flashlight off. Be physically close to the ghost. 
and then up, turn the light on and immediately press, uh, there you go, you got two at once, it's really good. Now while you're vacuuming them up, you want to pull away from whatever direction they're dragging you. Okay. Hey kid, shape up, you can't go looking for your brother. The way you're carrying on? There, here they come. There you go. You're doing good. There's a flow to it. There's a brief moment where when you stun them, they go, ah! and that's like, got them. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the power of God. Poltergust 3000 is a team. You get me, young feller? That'll do. How many did you get? Five ghosts, huh? Why are you getting the hang of it, Luigi? Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. You can go to the gallery. Off we go. He's got this... If you really consider, like, this guy, the, the lack of family, the fact that he, like, builds stuff, like, these strange things, and then inspects ghosts... Why, why did he spend so much time making this gallery, including statues which have, uh, like, motion? Because those uh, wings move, too. So, like, yeah, there's I just a that. lot. This game could could just have been about Professor Egad. Like, there's so many unexplained questions. Like, where did you come from, dude? Like, what, what mm. do you have, like, a, like a, a master's in something? Like, anyway. He also has this room, which is very, very odd. Oh yes, that's that's my gold room. It's like, but why? Anyway, I don't know if some of these are answered in the later games. I've played Dark Moon, but it's also been a while. I haven't played three though. Anyway. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Where am I? You can ask whatever you'd like. This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Well then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Bulasis. But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Bulasis from the painting, they, then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts, too. As if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, and then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just have to get them back. We now have the premise of the game. Uh, what is a Game Boy Horror? I designed the Game Boy Horror, with a great name, as a communications terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of the items you've picked up. Give it a try if you've got some coins. Of course, you'll also uh, be able to see portrait ghosts there uh, once you capture some. You can also use the Y button to display a map of the mansion. The display will color the rooms as you visit them. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got all that, Sonny? Looks like you tried to, like, uppercut him. So this is the Game Boy Horror. Um, you can basically interact in first person, and then you can press A, and it'll tell you something about what you're looking at. It's a statue. A very tall angel statue. That's my Luigi voice. Way to go, genius. Do you have the hang of that thing yet? Okay, let me leave. Back to the lab. All right then. Hmm. Where will you go, Luigi? It's such a deep question. Where will you go? Careful now, Luigi. Now you are equipped. Dr. Egad, or Professor Egad is waving goodbye because he knows that there's a good chance you won't return. That's okay, he can make a new poltergust. Also, Toad is here now. Where did you come from? <laughs> Ooh, where did you go, Mario? Blah, blah. Huh, Luigi? 
<laughs> wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh, joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd want a mansion, and he never returned. Th then I, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. And I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Punching Toad right in the skull. Thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. He saves your game. Which we'll want to do. Or it'll be much harder. Talk to me for help anytime. You got bombed. That was mean. You can, you can hear the ghosts laughing. So, uh... So now you're just back in the mansion, but this time you have the poltergust. And you can obviously check things if you want to just look around and get an idea of what something is. Oh, that? That's nothing. And you can also use your um, uh, vacuum at any point. So this is the map. So you can pull up the map okay. anytime. L is blow. Yeah. Oh, you found a mirror. Looking good. Toad is now doing jumping jacks for you. There's uh, there's like two primary way to primary ways to check certain objects. You can um, just hold your thing at them for a while, and eventually you'll see a little like thing of like dust. See the dust blow out? Yeah. That means you've checked it. Some objects you can do with the vacuum cleaner. Some objects you can just press A and it'll do the same thing. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're different. I wouldn't overthink it too much. I would just enjoy yourself. Give me these coins. Get yourself get yourself some cash. If you're if you're gonna go through you know the trouble yeah. of being here. And uh, it would really uh. Money that is not already in the room, mm -hmm. when you walk into the room, despawns after a certain point. So, like, if you leave that there, it'll de despawn. Okay. So, there's an incentive, like, once you... So, did I check everything in this room, then? Like... That's locked. Is there something that is different? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Then when you walked in? Mario! I mean, I got rid of the tablecloth. True. There's there's a very specific motif that you're going to see repeated throughout the game a lot. And I'd rather you just figure it out on your own. When it hits you, you'll go, oh, that. Oh, what's this? Just how I like it. Nice and clean. Pretty sure a bunch of dust came off of that, Luigi, but you, you, you tried. You did your best. Looks ordinary. A little too ordinary. What a dreadful picture. But that candle next to it might be important. <laughs> so all the candles were lit. Uh. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you, Blue Hair. Now you're in for it, Blugug. Just like Little Red Cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you, huh? Blaha, here they are now. There you go. There's a lot of ghosts. Okay. You're gonna be you're, you're gonna be sucking up a lot of ghosts. Did you uh, lose that one? I don't know. I looked away for a second. 
Or did you get you you got that one? So um, whenever you're sucking up ghosts, mm -hmm. uh, you'll continue to suck them up and remove their their health, and then ultimately get them unless you run into objects. So the ghosts will be like pulling you around the room, trying to get you to run into stuff. And that shows you where the oh you went up a floor. That shows you the door that your key goes to. Floating head. By the end, Luigi will have so many keys. So many keys. Mm. Yeah, like I lost that one. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's not vital to turn your flashlight off and on. I mean, if you're just turning quick yeah. and you, you got it, like... Do you hear the faint little... Yeah, I do. That plays when you're pulling away. Oh, you turned your flashlight off too soon. Make sure you stun him first. I know. He whacked you in the back of the head. You gotta stun him. You're pulling at you guys. There you go. You're so anxious to get him in that vacuum. Oh, you got a gold bar. There you go. Good work. You're, you're doing good. You've never played this, and I've, no, I I've, haven't. You know, me and probably most of the audience have 20 years on you here. There you go. And that one took some of your health because I think it dragged you around a yeah. little bit. But so far, so good. So far, so far, so good. Yeah, and you have you have like a good second or two before you have to start sucking. Oh, he thought that was hilarious. There you go. Oh, you got the big one. Doing good. You got him. You got him in one in one uh one suck. Good. I don't know if there's a better way of. I wanted that heart. Of doing that, you might be able to pull the uh, hearts towards you with um the vacuum as well. That guy just wants bananas. That's Thomas, I think. It's just Thomas in the afterlife, just constantly sitting there eating bananas. Open this. Get that guy. Good one. I didn't open that one. There was no ghost inside. There was it's no the key ghost. up there. So, back is where... That one locks that. Although that door's just already open. Hey, little guy. Poor little toad. Well, Mario, where are you? Wah! Huh, Luigi? Uh, yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Please, please, please save Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? Please stop punching me and my friends in the head. What did we do to deserve this sort of abuse? I want this hat. You can also check things with the Game Boy Horror if you're like, what does it say about this hat? There's, um, I will say, and this 
is also for the folks watching. There's an immense amount of like mm -hmm. secret treasures and things like that. And uh, it is impossible to expect either of us to get a hold of mm -hmm. all of it. It's just, so we'll do our best. Mm -hmm. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. You might die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. So here's the thing. Uh, you're going to open up the store, but then actually uh -huh. it's uh, it's the end of the episode. Oh. Next episode, I, I hope it'll be helpful just watching me play because you yeah. might pick up stuff that is not necessarily intuitive, like from what they've explained in the game. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next time with more Stephen Amount Play Luigi's Mansion. Hoo ha 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 